Okay. Hi guys! I'm sorry that it's not Friday or Saturday, that <laughs> it's in fact Sunday. And I know, Tara, you said no excuses, but if you lived my life for a week, you would understand why it's so hard for me to get videos up on time. So anyways, here I am, taking a break from homework just to entertain you, Kim, because I love you. Actually, I stopped to go take care of my sick roommate and to make tea. But anyways, yeah, I'm in the middle of writing like an eight-page research paper right now, and it's not going very well. Anyways, um, this week's theme, Guilty Pleasures. It's funny, because we were talking about this at work all week. Like, what's the one song that you would not want anyone to know that you, like, crank up in your car and sing? Okay. I couldn't even admit this at work, and I can't believe I'm doing this on the internet. Kim, you know, you know. I know all of the words to every single Hanson song written in the 90s. And I have all of their albums, and I listen to them way more frequently than I should. I also really enjoy NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears. Still. Okay. So now that we've got that out, other guilty pleasures. I have a real problem with ABC Family shows, including The Secret Life of an American Teenager. I know, I know, it's really bad. It is. But I just can't stop watching it. And I'll admit this one, I watch the one about gymnastics that I can't think of the name of right now. What's that called? Mike, you're filming this. What's it called that I watch? You know. You watched it with me once. I have no idea what you're talking about. By the way, quick side note, Steph's not in her own room. This is, in fact, my room. I Notice the Mustang the and all of my random shenanigans down there. My computer. Oh, yeah. Shit. Dude, this is my video. Bring it back This here. is my room. My video. Okay, so I also watch Army Wives and Drop Dead Diva religiously. Yeah. I'm still trying to think of the name of that gymnastics show. I can't believe I can't think of the name of it right now because I've watched every single episode. Even though I swore I wouldn't stop getting that camera closer to my face. Alright. Okay, more guilty pleasures. Most people know this one. I have a shoe addiction. My closet right now is filled with shoes of like every color. It's a rainbow of footwear. And that's not even all that I own. And I just can't stop buying shoes. Like, I tried this past weekend. We went shopping. And I was going to buy this really cute pair of black heels, but they didn't have it in my tiny foot size. I was like, oh, shoot. Mike, stop screwing around, please. Okay, um, I have note cards just like Kim, because I'm a dork. Oh, yeah. Chocolate. That's my other guilty pleasure, which was a real problem for me this summer working at Jacques Torres, because I was surrounded in chocolate. Delicious. Mm. Okay. Anyways, Kim, the Miley Cyrus thing. Okay. She's performing here in Charlotte next month. I think it's like the 24th, or maybe a little bit sooner. I don't know. But she's going to be up the street at the, like, the arena where the basketball people play. I don't know. But I think you should try to swing it as an early Christmas gift. You're ugly, Mike. Anyways, swing it as an early Christmas gift and come down. You can stay with me and you'd have a free place to sleep and food. I'd feed you good. Mike would make potato soup. No, I wouldn't. Yes. Yes, he would. Don't listen to him. I'm trying to seduce you with my eyebrows right now if <laughs> you can't tell. Okay, anyways, yeah. And I think that you have too many Facebook relationships. Just saying. Just saying. Erin! I can't believe you watch soap operas, but that's cool. Because I feel like less of a dork for watching ABC Family shows. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I'm making fun of you right now for watching soap operas. Because I actually think that's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Tara? You know, it's okay that you have no idea what you're doing because it entertains me. It really does. And I just feel better about myself for not having to be the Monday person. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being a bitch this week. Uh, but I love you. Hearts for Tara. And Laura. I'm really glad that I got to see Carter in your video. He's just a goofball. He is. And one time in ninth grade when we had to like grow bacteria 
on petri dishes. Like we had to rub it on something and see how much bacteria it grew. I had Carter lick mine. And it grew a lot of bacteria. It was red bacteria, just in case you wanted to know. Alright, I'm gonna go, guys, and get back to writing my paper and doing all the other homework that I have to do that's due tomorrow. Crap. Uh, but I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you all on your days this coming week. Bye, loves.